Hi guys and gals. Happy Monday night football night. Well, maybe not happy if, uh, yeah. <laughs> Depending on the team that you're cheering for, if you're a Lions fan, I would have to say it maybe has not been a happy Monday night football night for you. Um, but if you like the Jets, you're happy. So we have several things that we're going to be breaking tonight. There are most likely going to be some spots available as well. Uh, setting on some unpaid things that um, I will probably be making available. We'll wait and see if that payment comes in uh, when we get to the break. But there's potentially some stuff open in Origins. And there's potentially some things open in um, the Cut Signature baseball product and... Maybe even another thing or two. There is actually a staggering amount of unpaid stuff sitting open right now. But some of it is from bidders I know. And I tend to, to let those ride a little more than people I don't know. So just be, F, be aware of that, guys. That may be coming up uh, shortly. But we're not quite there yet. What we're taking a look at right now, we've got some information to go over before we start uh, digging into our breaks tonight. This is a break I'm working on to sell directly by way of chat and messages. It is for 2017 Leaf Greatest Hits Baseball. The break bonus is an autographed Med Rosario bat that will be awarded to one team by way of random. It is $50 a spot, but guess what? Each spot gets you two teams. Uh, it is all in, shipping costs included. We'll break it when we fill it. This is one that if you pull nothing, you get nothing. No consolation cards in this one. And as with any break, it is a no return, no refund item. So we have 15 spots to fill since it is two teams uh, per buy-in spot. And we have filled eight. We're a little over halfway there. So if you would like to jump into this break, please send me a message on eBay and let me know. I would love to get that broken uh, so that we can move on to Leaf Greatest Hits basketball, right? We've done football. That's baseball. Well, then we'll be doing basketball by the case. This is a note about feedback because it comes up quite often, actually. Um, it's just to let you know that mine's completely automated on eBay, so that way you don't ever have to wait on me. As soon as you leave uh, positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get it in return. And of course, the most important thing there is a big thank you. And that's because I appreciate everybody who bids and breaks and chats and hangs out with me. So thank you all for that. I see Scott and Greg are in chat and the major rad player is asking about Leaf Greatest Hits Baseball. It is, um, if you're not familiar with Leaf Greatest Hits Baseball, it is a buyback product, okay? So they are actually buying back cards from Topps and uh, Panini. I mean, it could technically be from other companies too, but these are not Leaf produced cards. They are buyback cards. They're all either professionally graded or um, encased. There are four buyback cards per box. And there's, they usually do put a Leaf original card of some sort in there, but I mean, it's not anything we really would worry about, you know, right? It'll just be like a numbered Leaf base card. The four buyback cards are the, are the selling point of that. We recently did a break of the Leaf Greatest Hits Football, which uh, the major rad you can see on the channel here. I think that's even the title of it probably. And you can get an idea of some of the kind of stuff that comes out of it. So... That's kind of what we'd be looking at. Right now, this is breaks coming up. This is stuff that's listed on eBay. The first thing I was talking about, we're selling direct through chat and messages, okay? That was the Leaf Greatest Hits Baseball. This stuff that we're looking at right now, this is all listed on eBay. We're going to be breaking it over the next five days. So tomorrow night, uh, a Gold Rush Autograph Baseball jersey, a half case of Leaf Autograph Football jerseys. So those four, I believe those are the back half of a case we started the other night, right? I think they are. Um, the back half of the Luminaries case, we're going to open the front half uh, here shortly. We'll open the rest of it tomorrow night. And a third case of Absolute Football. Wednesday night, we'll open a full-size football helmet. Spectra Football, yay, it's Spectra Day. We'll open a full case of that for its release day on Wednesday. And Bowman High Tech Baseball, we will also open a full case of that on Wednesday. And by the way, don't bid on the Rangers, guys. Somebody sent me a message telling me the Rangers have no hits in there. I did not have time to get that ended before the break, but I am going to go end that auction after we finish up tonight. Thursday night, we'll open another Gold Rush baseball jersey, a, a second case of Spectra football, and we will open our sixth and final case of Chronicles baseball on Thursday night. 
Friday night, we'll start a new case of Leaf jerseys, open a half case once again. Trinity football, Leaf Trinity football comes out Friday. That's the one with the really nice patches and relics. We'll bust into a full case of that. Heritage High Number also happens to come out on Friday, and we'll open a half case of that. Except I, you know what, I guess I fixed this last night on here, and then I forgot to fix it on the master. And so there you go, I just copied it right in there incorrectly. Again, it is six boxes is the half case of Topps Heritage. Saturday will be a second case of Leaf Trinity. Uh, we will do a three-peat basketball box, which has three autographed items in it, a basketball, a jersey, and a photo. And we will open our final case of Contenders Draft Picks basketball all on Saturday night. For tonight, this is what we're looking at. And I'm going to read off the order to you as well. It's more or less the order there, but not exactly. So first up will be triple play baseball, then fourth and goal football, history of baseball cut signature, followed by luminaries, followed by origins, okay? The other things you need to know about what is on this page, there are four, no, three free shipping breaks tonight. That is triple play, fourth and goal, and luminaries. And anytime you do a break with me that offers completely free shipping, I uh, generally get it out the door six or seven days after the auction ends on average. That's where I project it to go. So those three breaks tonight, I am projecting to get out the door on or before Monday the 17th, a week from today. Our paid shipping breaks tonight, I'm projecting to get out the door on or before Thursday. That is the history of baseball and origins. Here's the other thing you need to know. If you are in one of these breaks and your team is not pulled, you don't get an item if you're in the memorabilia break or you don't get a card if you're in one of the card breaks, you know, meaning no base card, no nothing. You are entitled to a consolation card that can be from any year in any series. If you are in one of the paid shipping breaks, your consolation cards would ship out with the rest of the break because it's a paid shipping break, right? If you are in one of the free shipping breaks, what I typically do is hold your consolation cards until the next time you do have a hit. And when you have a package going, then I just gather up all those consolation cards that you're due and I ship them all out at once. And I do track that for a rolling 90-day period. If you're in one of those free shipping breaks and you don't want to wait to get your consolation cards, send me a message on eBay. Let me know. We'll get you taken care of, okay? So first up tonight is a 2018 Hit Parade Triple Play Baseball Box. This is break number 12. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight. The start of Monday Night Football for our new football season. Monday the 10th of September. And, of course, we have team names on the left-hand side. The winning bidders are across from it on the right-hand side. One team didn't sell. That's the Tampa Bay Rays. You see that designated there as no bids buyback. Last but not least, I do not use autofocus, so you're going to see the focus, uh, the background there change a little bit as I manually set the focus, but we should be able to see everything okay anyway. Greg is here. Darren is here. Randy's here. Um, Scott, you know what, when you're talking about Leaf basketball, that's one of the few Leaf Greatest Hits products. In fact, it's the only Leaf Greatest Hits product where they do have, um, the Leaf card in it is actually signed and autographed in addition to the buyback card. Because you know, in football and baseball, the Leaf card is numbered, but it's not signed. In basketball this year, it's really strange, um, but here's what they did. <laughs> You get one of three players in each box. So you either get um, Leangelo Ball, LaMelo Ball, or Kyle Kuzma is uh, one of those three players is an autograph hit in the in there on the Leaf card plus the buyback card. So, you know, it's kind of, kind of interesting. But anyway. And uh, Nick is laughing because Scott said, how about the football cats? Yeah, well, I understand why you would laugh, Nick, but, you uh, oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Um, you all are about to be, somebody about to be real happy. Um, but our football cats did look good this week. So we're going to, I'm going to, I'm, yeah, we're, this box right here, just in general, is really going to be good. And I'm trying to find a way to do this so that I can keep the one thing as like a last minute sort of surprise. Um, this is JT Realmuto, if however you say his last name. Um, and you can see there he was in a Marlins uniform. So our autograph photograph is going to the Marlins. I don't know why it's in this giant oversized thing, but it is for some reason, not in the regular one. 
it's the jersey that somebody's going to freak on in a minute. <laughs> this is nice too, though. This is Walker Bueller. And Walker Bueller is a Dodger, a Los Angeles Dodger. So hold on, guys, and let's take a look at that one. Um, yes, William, Origins is, is uh, after the other breaks that I lined out there a minute ago. Uh, that's why it does always say in that description on eBay, it always says opening this and other products that end on the same evening because I very seldom open just one product in a night. So yeah, that's going to be uh, coming up a little bit later. I would say you have probably got, um, William, maybe... I'm looking to see what's behind me there. I'd say maybe 45 minutes or so, William, if you've got something else you want to do in the meantime. There is a Beckett authentication. There's a Dave and Adams authentication. And we only have the DNA paper, though. There's no, there's no uh, Beckett paper, but you have the Beckett sticker, which, of course, is the most important part. So Walker Bueller, of course, is a Dodger. Now, now, now comes the part that is going to make somebody really happy. You already saw it, didn't you, Chris? <laughs> you did already see it. Yeah, babies, it is Mike Trout. Yes, it is for the angels. Right there is your letter of authenticity from, I don't know where, JSA. It's all notarized and all kinds of crazy other stuff. There's your JSA authentication sticker. That handsome, handsome Mike Trout signature on this beautiful jersey. So, and it is, of course, authentic. Because, look, there's our logo man. So, a Mike Trout authentic MLB jersey. Not a custom one. Signed by the man himself. That, kids, is a hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it so much. So to recap, the Angels are scoring big time with the Mike Trout autograph jersey. And Chris, you either saw it when I opened up the box, which probably you just have really good eyes or you're really good at guessing. But my guess is you saw it when I, when I at the same time I saw it, when I was like, ooh, yeah, we got to wait till last for that because it was too nice to go first. <laughs> then here's our autograph baseball. That is Walker Bueller for the Dodgers once again uh, Dave and Adam and Beckett authenticated but only a paper from Dave and Adam there was no uh, Beckett paper in there and finally our autograph picture which for some reason they put in I don't know why this giant size holder I'll have to do something different than that that won't fit in any kind of envelope but anyway also JSA authenticated going to the Marlins you can see there on the uniform and it is JT Realmuto, and there is your JSA authentication on the back as well. All right, so, oh, Randy, you thought it was going to be Otani? Yeah, I mean, you saw the angels in there, right? You thought it was Otani. I got a quick little look, enough to know that I thought it was going to be Trout, but yeah, it was nice. Corey's here. Corey's in from from uh, out working, hunting, and, and laying in his supplies for the winter. Hi, Corey. And um, let's see. Oh, Chris, you saw the red number, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had good eyes there, Chris, man. That was, um, as soon as I got a look at it, I was like, oh, it's an angel. And then I got another quick little look and thought it was Trout instead of Otani, but either way, guess what? And that was a pretty awesome hit, I have to tell you. So this is going to be our first go-round with fourth and goal. And if you haven't seen this before, if you didn't see it a moment ago, please uh, take a minute to look at the information there. It gives you an anticipated shipping date, depending on which break you're in. Could uh, be one date or the other. And also some information there about consolation cards in case your team is not pulled. So this fourth and goal box, guys, um, my first time opening it as well, of course, and it looks interesting, right? I mean, it's a full-size football helmet, a mini football helmet, a jersey, and a picture all in this box. I don't even really, frankly, know how they got it all in this box. I think they must have a bunch of it 
stuffed up inside the helmet. Like I think when we take the full size helmet out that we're going to find the mini helmet and the jersey and everything stuffed up inside of it, I think, I imagine. Yeah, I know that is super loud. They use cellophane instead of like regular plastic. You know what I mean? There's a difference. And the cellophane is so loud. And then they use these really weird boxes that are like these ballot boxes. And I'm trying to open it so that you can see what comes out of it as it comes out. But the flap's going to hit the camera. So I'm going to have to do it the regular way. But let's get... Uh, okay, so it's not all stuffed up in the helmet. There's the helmet part. I'm guessing the mini helmet must be stuffed up in there, though, because it's not out in this box. All right, so... There's a little advertisement thing. Let's, uh, all right, well, let's start with the picture. That's That should be easy. <laughs> so we'll start with the easy one. And it is Fanatics authenticated, and there is their sticker. Fanatics doesn't ever um, put paper with it. It's always just a sticker. And whoever this is, they're on the Jags, but I don't know whose signature that is. Is that, that's not, I don't know whose signature that is. Who is that, guys? Right, I'm assuming it's the Jag. I guess it could be the Saint. Who is this person? I would think you would have the ball carrier would be the one signing that, but there's no name on the back. Normally there are. Oh, Marquise Lee. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so Jags. <laughs> I was right the first time with the team anyway. Nick is here. Bill's Mafia is in the house. Oh, Corey, you saw that your, your, your uh, tracking updated. Okay, good, man. Yeah, I know you were worried about that. I would have been once upon a time if it had not been for the fact that I have uh, had that happen so many times. Waters. I don't know who this is. I'm having a hard time with what's in this box. <laughs> so, it is JSA authenticated. ZA authenticated with DA paperwork, no JSA paperwork, and um, yeah, I guess that Nick, I don't the the name is in the bag of the for the helmet. Yes, the name obviously is not in the bag for the jersey, right? So I know that it is Waters, but I don't know who that is. Is what I was saying. So. <laughs> But I'm, I'm aware of the fact, yes, that there's the name inside of the bag of the full-size helmets. We haven't opened a fourth in gold before, but we've opened lots of Dave and Adam stuff. So just give me a second here, guys. I want to pull up uh, and see exactly who we have. Um, it, uh, so it's an Eagles jersey. I mean, that much we do know. You can tell by the colors of it. I just want to know who it is. Ricky Waters. Played for the 49ers, etc., etc., the Eagles, and a uh, few other teams. But obviously, this is an Eagles jersey, and you can tell by the colors. So, Eagles and Jags thus far. And as I believe we had guessed, uh, the mini helmet should be stuffed inside our full-size helmet here as we manage to get it out of there. And the sticker's peeling off right with it. And there comes our mini helmet out rather unceremoniously dumping off as well. <laughs> Carl Eller, that's going to be a Viking. That's our full-size helmet. The sticker got caught uh, as it was coming out of the bag. So I'm just going to put that back on the edge there. We'll take the plastic off and get a little look at Carl Eller's signature for you. For the Vikings, this is another one that they've kind of wrapped in saran wrap on there. So that's why it looks the way it looks. But there is your Carl Eller signature. And along with it, a JSA authentication paperwork, JSA authentication sticker as well. So the Vikings have our full-size helmet. Of course, the Jags had our photograph the eagles with the jersey and we still have a mini helmet left to take a look at but let me get the full size back in its uh, carry case here that way we can just keep it all together make life easy for everyone 
Hi, Gina. I didn't know you were here, too. Nick said, you had the Ravens for your fantasy team defense. Well, then you had an excellent fantasy week in football. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to guess that's probably Corey Davis, but we'll look in the bag and tell here in a moment. That is the Tennessee Titans. You are JSA authenticated there on the back. JSA authenticated here as well. And let's see if we are right. Yes, that is Corey Davis. So... How about that? Finally, uh, one we could recognize by the signature, from the signature. So Tennessee Titans with the mini helmet, the Vikings with our full-size helmet, the Jags with our photograph, and the Eagles hit the jersey out of fourth and goal tonight. Give me a moment to get this set aside, and we'll move on down into our next break. And I need to check this next break, guys, for this uh, Leaf History of Baseball cut signature because we did have, um, I'll check here in a second and see if we still do. Let me get you switched over to this page so you can be perusing this for a moment while I check the payment status. But we potentially have last name M in here, which of course is a big one, uh, given that uh, I believe Mickey Mantle is an option in here. So I don't want to leave last name M unsold, which right now it is stuck there, unpaid. So is anybody interested in last name M and Leaf History of Baseball cut signature? The last bid amount on it was $157.50 is where we were with it. I'm going to check messages here and see if this person happened to have said anything about it, although... I kind of doubt it. It's a low feedback person. They didn't respond to my message and they didn't pay. So um, I would say that, uh, uh, um, hang on also. Here's somebody for some reason saying they can't find the live break. Normally, guys, I don't check messages during a break, okay? I am right now just to make sure before we try to resell this team. So typically, this is not something I would do. If you send me a message on eBay during a live break, I'm normally not going to see it until probably the next day uh, most of the time. But because I did see this uh, looking for this other gentleman, I'll just answer this person so that they know it is live right now and we can get that out of the way. Um, okay, so it looks like, Randy, you spoke up uh, first. Mario, I see you jumping in there too, but Randy already indicated that he would take it. So Randy, uh, that will go to you. Do you happen, sir, to still have my email address? If you do, can you just uh, shoot it over to me and I, or do you need me to invoice you? Let me know what you want to do on that, Randy. And while we're working on that, I'm going to go in and cancel this other order for the gentleman who didn't pay so that I can update our spreadsheet before I show who has what team. And then we'll be good to go. So give me one second here. And we're going to get that canceled for that person. And that's going to put it into second chance for Randy. So let me switch you back to here so I can fix the spreadsheet. I don't like showing people's name. You know, the other guy's username is up there. And, you know, who knows what happened. He may have just... Uh, had an unexpected uh, emergency or something, so I don't want to shame him by having his username up there. It's why I like to switch off, and then I just switch it to who, to whoever really has uh, the team now. Um, Randy, uh, one, I think it, the last bid amount. Let me double check it. I think it was one fifty-seven fifty. Um, yeah, it sold for one seven one fifty-seven. 50 was uh, what the dude did not pay who had it. So um, 157 is fine. We're certainly not going to worry about the 50 cents, right? And then I'll just uh, add it, Randy, to whatever else you might have shipping for tonight. If you hit anything, of course, I'll just add the tracking directly onto that PayPal order. Does that make sense? If anything needs to ship from it. 
Okay, so we are in a 14 box case of 2018 Leaf History of Baseball cut signature. This is a full case break. It's break number one. It came out last week and I forgot about it <laughs> and I didn't get it listed. So that's why we're just now breaking it tonight. This is, of course, sold by first letter of last name, right? So Mickey Mantle would be M, Hank Aaron would be A, so on and so forth. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate you picking that up, man. It is always uh, appreciated when you guys and gals step up in chat and pick up things that people buy and don't pay for. It's I used to let them ride most of the time, and these days I very seldom do because, you know what, I have learned that people are not as not as honest as you might like to believe they are. <laughs> so a lot of times I would get stuck with stuff. And then I found out there was a whole group of people. He's actually, a couple of them burned several breakers. I was at the front end of that, unfortunately, but I was able to warn some people at the back end. But apparently there was a little ring of people that were uh, telling us all the same story. They would bid and then they would send a message after the break and after the auction ended, but before the break would start, they were sending messages saying, oh, I can't get my payment to go through or my PayPal's messed up, but I'm trying and please don't sell my team and blah, blah, blah. You know, knowing that usually if you hear from somebody, you kind of have a tendency to think, well, okay, it's fine. And you let it ride. And then they were only paying people if they hit something that they liked. And if they didn't, they weren't paying anybody. <laughs> And they kept, and they did that to several breakers. I was one of them, sadly. But I think uh, the word is out on that little group now, so I don't think they're going to have much luck with that anymore. So here we go. Um, triple play baseball was the Dodgers with a Walker Bueller baseball. The photograph was for the Marlins, and the jersey was Mike Trout for the Angels. Who did you have in there, Mario? Any of that, any of that heading your way? I'm really happy with the Mike Trout, obviously. That was a super nice hit for the Angels. Oh, and you know what's coming, guys. We're going to start breaking... Um, some half cases of Gold Rush baseball jerseys because next week, or actually this week, at the very end of the week, maybe Friday, they're going to have Series 2 of their baseball jerseys. And guess who's in there? Otani. Oh, yes, he is. Along with a number of others. A really nice-looking checklist on that. And I will try to get the checklist posted to the... Uh, down at the bottom in that auction description if it'll all fit if not though you can you can still find it online and it looks like a really nice checklist and we're going to be breaking those by the half case so and their cases are six jerseys for that particular product so that means it'll be three per that we'll be dealing with oh you had the dodgers okay excellent then you're happy you should be happy with the walker bueller autograph ball because I thought that was a very nice hit as was of course the Mike Trout jersey but if you didn't have the angels then that part probably didn't matter to you as much so leaf history of baseball cut signature you know these were originally supposed to be 20 box cases and leaf um, I guess didn't get enough product or didn't get it I don't know what happened but they changed it before it came out and made them 14 box cases and then, on top of that, they still cut everybody's order. So, like, nobody got exactly what they ordered. It was kind of sketchy. But, but anyway, hopefully it's worth, worth waiting on. Well, we're starting out with Brooks Robinson. So, I kind of like that. <laughs> That's nice. Of course, I'm getting ready to save the team. But the team doesn't matter on this one. Because, again, we sold this by first letter of the last name. So, that nice Brooks Robinson, of course, headed to the R's. And I know the R's are glad to have it because I think the R's accidentally um, put in more than they meant to put in. But they uh, paid the bid, which I appreciate it very much. So hopefully that will give some good karma to them. This is Happy Chandler. Wow. A.B. Happy Chandler uh, going to last name C. 
Um, I did have, I do have you added on Leaf Greatest Hits Baseball. You are sure in there, Corey, for two spots. I haven't invoiced any of that yet because I want to wait till we're closer to having it filled. Right now we're a little over halfway done. We've got eight of the 15 spots filled. And Joe McCarthy hits. So right away, uh, Karma is rewarding Randy for picking up the M's because he has a nice Joe McCarthy cut signature hit coming his way. Oh, Corey, I only had you in as two spots for four teams. I did not have you in for four spots and eight teams, so I'll need to add you for two more. I, I, somehow I didn't see that. I'm sorry. I thought you were two spots, four teams, so I'll fix that a little bit later. Here's Leo, you know I can't say it, Dersher. <laughs> Dersher, <laughs> whatever. I know who he is but I can't say it. It goes to last name, uh, letter D. He was a Dodger, I believe, right? Was he a Dodger? He was a Dodger. But anyway. Oh, you emailed me. You had emailed me back. Yeah, you know what? I don't get a lot of stuff in that email, Corey. It gets so much junk mail because I've had that email for, gosh, well over 20 years. It gets mostly junk mail, and a lot of stuff gets filtered to spam, so I don't check it all that often. I pull it up occasionally just to check for, you know, like um, payments or something like that, but most of the time, um, I will remember to check it right after I send out a group message like that, but I guess I just didn't do it today, so sorry about that. Here's a nice Ernie Banks going to the B bidding position. And next out, we have, oh, Sparky Anderson. He was, he was uh, with my Cincinnati Reds. So that's going to the A's, of course. Is that Johnny Bench? Oh, no, it's not, but it's John Smoltz. So that's nice. That is headed to the S, last name S. Sign's kind of similar to Johnny Bench when you first glance at it, though. I will say that. And this is Phil, Phil Necro. There's somebody I hadn't seen in a while. Going to letter N. Tommy Lasorda. Oh, cool. Dodgers, of course. Uh, but going to letter L. Lou Brock. The bees are we have more than one bee, isn't it? I think the bees are doing all right tonight. Lou Brock for the bees. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Somebody's on the back too. Robin Roberts on the back. So we've got a uh, something else we got to look at there. A B and an R. That one's got to set aside. And if you don't happen to have the now I'm making sure none of the others have anybody on the back. I think we looked at the backs of all of them, but to be on the safe side, we're gonna Flip them all over one more time. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the spreadsheet. If the same person owns both letters, of course, no worries. If we have different owners for those two letters, then random.org will be our deciding factor as to who will take home that particular card. If it does go to random, it will work like this. I will type in the name that is on the front will be typed in first. The name that's on the back will be typed in second. And I would hit random three different times. The first two wouldn't count. The third and final would make the decision if we do end up going to random for that. This is Bucky Harris. So going to the H bidding position. Oh, yeah, that is nice. That is Ted Williams. Oh, that is really nice. But you know what? He's not the only one on the card. We also have Lou Boudreaux on the back. So that is another we're going to have to look at random for, which, man, you would hate, you know, Ted Williams. Oh, <laughs> but it's got to go to random unless somebody owns both. That's, that's, oh, I was really would rather have that just been just Ted Williams. So it could have gone straight to the W's, but that's not how Leaf gave it to us. This is Alkaline. 
I keep wanting to say the team, but, but it just goes to K. The letter K. And the last out. Oh, wow. That is a nice hit. Ichiro Suzuki coming out last, uh, but certainly not least. So the S's with the really nice Ichiro hit. So uh, congratulations on that. S, that's an excellent hit as well. Um, so... Yeah, Leaf History of Baseball comes out a little nicer than I thought. And you know what, guys? I only ordered one case of it because I was like, eh, you know, I don't know how much of that I want to open. Almost anything else, Leaf, I order three, four, five, six cases of. I order one case of History of Baseball. So, yeah, okay. We've got a couple of things to deal with before we, before we recap. There is Ted Williams on the front, but on the back we have Lou Boudreaux. So that means we are looking uh, between the W and the B. Let's roll over here and see what, what uh, our spreadsheet tells us. So the B is uh, Cal, and our W is Big Balls 37. I'm sure he got a kick out of me saying that live on the air too, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, so we're heading to random. Here's what's going to happen. The W will be go, uh, will be typed in first in the first position because it's on the front of the card. I'll just put in uh, la well, hang on a let's get it done right. Well, if I could type, it'd be helpful. Then on the back will be uh, the last name B. Now, I'm going to hit random three different times. The first two times do not count. It is the third and final random that decides where this card goes, okay? So, here we go. Good luck. Ignore the first one. Ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final. And there it is. Three times our date and time stamp, and it goes to the Lou Boudreau. Wow. I... <laughs> so... The, the bees, uh, through a, a strange twist of fate here, uh, through random, managed to take home the nice Ted Williams uh, on the front and the Lou Boudreaux on the back. And I need to put that in something that I can write on so that I can make that note on there. And that way I don't have to go back and watch this later to find out where it goes I'm just gonna circle obviously you just saw me put that in the thing so you know that I didn't write on your case but uh, anyway that's the deal with that now here bees are in play again we have Lou Brock on the front and Robin Roberts on the back so we are B and R for this one and it's gonna be the exact same thing that we just did we're gonna go back and look of course we know who our B is, it's Cal, and our R is Hit Kings. So once again, we have two different owners. So we're going to head right back here where we were a second ago. And in this case, the B is going to go in first because it is on the front of the card. So last name B, then last name R. Same thing, three times, first two don't count. Good luck. First one does not count. Second one does not count. Here's our third and final. There is three times our date and time stamp. That is also going to the B. Wow, the Bs are just flat crushing it tonight, aren't they? So if you bought uh, last name B in this product, you are uh, really kind of feeling pretty happy right now, aren't you? Especially, I just, I really can't, can't believe... On that Ted Williams, that's something, isn't it? Mm. So let's recap this. Uh, this is a dual signature. Lou Brock on the front, Robin Roberts on the back, and Random.org awarded it to the bees, Lou Brock. This is uh, Lou Boudreau on the back, Ted Williams on the front, and Random awarded it to the bee, Lou Boudreau. And then we have uh, Leo 
here whose last name we know I'm going to pronounce incorrectly. So let's just call it out as D because that's where it's headed. Joe McCarthy is headed to the M bidding position. Ichiro Suzuki is excellent hit. An excellent, excellent hit. That is, of course, headed to S for Suzuki. Ernie Banks. I had forgotten the B's also hit Ernie Banks. So, wow, B's are just backing up the uh, Brinks truck. Here's Al Kaline that is headed to the K position. Sparky Anderson is headed to the A's. Tommy Lasorda heading to the L's. Phil Necro headed to the N's. John Smoltz is headed to the S bidding position. Next up, we have Bucky Harris headed to H. And then Brooks Robinson headed to the R's. I'm glad the R's went home with, uh, with something. And then A.B. Happy Chandler going to the C's. So, yeah, it was quite a good break if you had B tonight. But overall, we pulled some nice hits out of... Uh, History of Baseball Cut Signature. I really kind of regret right now that I didn't order more of it up front, but I'll try and find us some more through the through the back channels. We'll see if we can't locate some more of that. I don't know how much luck I'll have, but we'll give it a shot tomorrow. We are going to be heading into Luminaries right now, and if you haven't seen this yet, if you happen to jump in part of the way through or something, um, please take a moment and look at it. The free shipping breaks projected to ship on or before Monday. The paid shipping breaks projected to ship on or before Thursday. If you get skunked in a paid shipping break, consolation cards will ship with the rest of the break. If you get skunked in a free shipping break, typically what I do is hold on to those and I send your consolation cards the next time you do have a package going because it is a uh, something I track for a rolling 90 days. If you want that sent sooner, you don't want to wait for your next package and you're in the free shipping break, send me a message. Let me know. We'll hook you up. Six boxes of 2018 Luminaries Baseball. This is a half case break. And we had a couple of teams in here that don't have hits. Uh, someone was kind enough to let me know that. So I went in and, of course, immediately ended those auctions. That was for the Rays and the Rockies. So we didn't have uh, any hits for them. You see that designated there on the spreadsheet. This is the start of a new case, so I'm going to take out all 12 boxes. I will number each of them on the end, then use random.org to determine which six we open tonight versus which six we'll be opening tomorrow night. If you're not familiar with this product, it's really nice. They started it last year. Uh, this is, I don't know, it's like a $2,300, $2,400 case of cards, something like that. It is one card uh, per box, but the hits in it are usually really pretty spectacular. So we had some awfully nice stuff come out of it last year. I would imagine we're going to have some awfully nice stuff coming out of it tonight as well. And of course, tomorrow night. So let's just get, I got to get all of them out. Bear with me here. Then we'll number them, and Random will tell us which, which ones we'll dig into this evening. One thing I will say about Tops, they definitely do all of their high-end products. They do them very well. It's always nice hits and nicely packaged and just well done from start to finish, so... Luminaries is always a good one. Let's get over here to random again. And you know, last year, Luminaries came out a lot later. It came out like around, oh gosh, like the middle to the end of November. So I was kind of glad they put it earlier this year. Whoops, that book should have been 11, hey. Hold, please. 11, 12. There we go. Well, you know that's 12 with the slash in front of it, but it's 12. Okay, so we are going to open box 12, 3, 5, 4, 1, and 8. So 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, 12. 
All right, one, three, four, five, one, three, four, five, eight, and 12. We got them all there? Yeah, okay. Let me get these other six put back in the case. I'll be right back with you. Yeah, I thought last year Luminaries got a little bit lost in all of the stuff that came out. Because, you know, right there in November and December, it's they just have such a tremendous amount of products that come out in that time frame. And that was, of course, a brand new product. And I just don't think it got the attention it really deserved last year. Uh, what have we got going on here? i got to figure out how to get in the box. Last year, the lid just lifted up off the front, and that doesn't seem to be the case today. What in the heck? How do I get in the box? Where is the... Maybe it's got an overwrap on it. Okay. It was probably supposed to slide out of there. I didn't figure that out, so... Now it goes like last year and just opens from the bottom. <laughs> it just took me a minute. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Jeff Bagwell is coming out first. Jeff is number 215. So the Houston Astros drawing first blood. Maybe I can cut through it if I cut hard enough. You should think it should slide out of there though, really. Shouldn't it have? But it doesn't. Oh, I see that now the major rad players like now you got to rip it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, Corey, I just saw you said, hope the bees don't go to San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Pedro Martinez is the next out. And, um, of course, the Montreal Expos, guys, that goes to uh, the current Washington Nationals because that's uh, the history of that franchise. Cards always stay with their franchise. So, of course, they're, the Expos are no more, but they became the Nationals, so that's where that goes. We next have Francisco Lindor. Francisco is number 210 for the Indians. And did we look, did I find what this was number two? It was to five, I'm sorry. Pedro Martinez is down there in the lower left to five. I don't think I called that out. You probably saw it when it went through, but just in case you did not... That's the deal. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, Corey, um, Corey's up in Alaska. And I ship, some, ship a lot of stuff up to Corey, but one of his packages the other day all of a sudden was tracking in Puerto Rico. Like, what is it doing in Puerto Rico, he says. And I have no idea. Post office just shipped it on the wrong plane somewhere is what happened. But it's back on track, and it actually is in Alaska as of today. This is David Ortiz, Big Poppy, number 215 for the Red Sox. But I actually had around Christmas um, uh, something that was supposed to be shipped to California and was addressed to California, and somehow somebody at the Postal Service sorted it to Canada. So it went all the way up to Canada first. Redemption, we'll look at it in a minute. And um, eventually showed up in California, but not before spending about five days in Canada. So sometimes the post office just puts them in the wrong bin, and there you go. Corey says, where's the Yankees? He should be seeing some Yankees by now. I don't know. I didn't look at the redemption either, so we'll be finding that one out together momentarily. This, however... Is for the Orioles. It is Cal Ripken Jr., numbered to 15. Always nice to see Cal Ripken come out. Of course, your relic there is a piece of the baseball bat. And uh, obviously, you've got the signature. We have a redemption to look up. And our redemption, oh my goodness, angels. Look at that. You've got a Home Run Kings autograph, red parallel, Shohei Otani. Nice, nice. 
So, like, the whole world knows that Shohei is going to go to the Angels, but you know how I am. We're going to go to the checklist. We're going to verify it. We'll see it say Angels there, even though, again, I don't think there's anybody in the world that doesn't know that's Angels. Uh, we're going to do it anyway, because that's just what we do. So, Home Run Kings, right there we are at the top, and Shohei Otani, there he is, Angels. So, somebody just had themselves quite a good night, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Maddie B says, you gotta love requesting a Yankee and then pulling a Red Sox. <laughs> So let's recap this half of Luminaries. The incredible Home Run Kings autograph, red parallel no less, for Shohei Otani and the Angels. Quite a nice hit. And then we have the Cal Ripken to 15 for the Orioles with the autograph and the baseball bat relic. Big Poppy, David Ortiz, also numbered to 15. That one, of course, for the Red Sox. Francisco Lindor, that is numbered to 10 for the Cleveland Indians. Pedro Martinez, numbered to 5. And, of course, again, Montreal, Montreal Expos are the current Washington Nationals. That's where that card goes. And then, finally, Jeff Bagwell to 15 for the Astros. So, that is our half case of luminaries. The back half of this case is tomorrow night. So, if you want to get in on the back side of it and see what else might be hiding in there, tomorrow night's going to be the night to do that. So, this is going to bring us into Origins, right? Yeah, I think we're at Origins. So, meanwhile, I know we had uh, someone waiting on Origins, and I might have been off a little bit. I think I probably told you about 40 minutes or 45 minutes. Looks like it's actually about 50 minutes or so it took me, so sorry about that. I gave you a little, little off, but eh, in the ballpark anyway. So, probably everyone has seen this by now. If perchance you have not, please take a moment, look up there, review what you see on the screen, ask me any questions that you have either in chat or by way of eBay messages. Next up, 16 boxes of Origins football. This is a full case break. It is break number five. It is the last case of Origins that I have. So we're going to wave goodbye to it tonight after we finish this case. Same format as before. Team names are on the left. If you're the winning bidder, your name is up in lights across from your team on the right-hand side. And here we go. Y'all know I said y'all. <laughs> That's how you know I'm I'm happy about something when I when I slip into y'all. <laughs> so you guys know how much I like Origins, and I'm really sad that this is my last case of it. But I'm feeling a little better about it in the fact that we still have one more case of Absolute to open, or two more. I don't know. One more scheduled, maybe two more. I'll have to look down there. And I think that's tomorrow night is absolute. But then Wednesday, oh, Spectra. Spectra. I love my Spectra. Spectra is good in any of the sports. It doesn't matter which Spectra it is. Basketball, football. Of course, it shows up for baseball and Chronicles. And Spectra is just one of my one of my special brands, if for lack of a better word. It's one I really like out of the Panini lineup. So I always look forward to it. And although I shouldn't say this out loud because I know everybody's going to scream and not agree with me. I kind of prefer Spectra to Prism. Oh yeah, I know. I said it out loud. Because everybody's screaming, no, Prism, <laughs> Prism. But I like my Spectra. I do. Just saying. So as you see, we've got one pack, of course, in each of our boxes of Origins. I'm going to get all of our packs out before we start to looking to see what we have. And in each of those packs, we're going to find a rookie autograph, a rookie autograph patch, and um, another memorabilia card. We'll also find a, a few base cards in there, some of which will be numbered, some of which will not. Corey, you said you're glad you got outbid uh, on the Yankees tonight. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, 
unfortunately, guys, that's sometimes it doesn't work out that you get what you would hope to get on some of these breaks of the high-end products because they don't put as many hits in them, you know? I mean, it's it's much harder, of course, to hit in a one-card-per-box format than in a multiple-cards-per-box format. However, as you know, when you do hit in the high-dollar products, uh, it's usually well worth your money uh, because they they sell at correspondingly high prices, typically. So I guess it's a little bit of the push-pull, anyway. William, it's your first break. Oh, then we got to find something extra nice for you, I hope. Who's your team in here, William? Tell us who you have. We'll try to work a little mojo magic for you. See if we can't have a nice debut for you like Sam Darnold had tonight. Well, okay, before somebody says it, yeah, I know the very first pass got picked off and turned into a pick six. <laughs> I do know that. But just look at it like this. He got it out of the way, right? So he didn't have to be nervous or have the jitters or anything else. It's like, yeah, okay. My first pick is done. <laughs> My first pick six is done. All in the first throw. Now I can relax. But, of course, the Jets, uh, I don't know the final score. Obviously, I've been doing breaks. But it had been uh, a really nice game for the Jets the last I looked. Ah, so William, you have got the Colts. Okay, we'll see what we can do with that. And we've got, oh, somebody else has got a first break. Gary's first break, and he's looking for the Eagles. Probably looking for a little Goddard, are you, for your Eagles? Nick is looking for the Packers. Man, Nick, that game last night, wow. I mean, again, I don't always get to see all the games because I'm usually doing this during part of them. But for what I did see, man, that was crazy. It was all Bears, 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 Bears. You get Aaron Rodgers going out hurt. You think the Bears are just going to finish the night and crush you. Aaron comes back, hobbled up, standing on one leg practically, and <laughs> manages to win the game. With a little help, I might add, from my man, Randall Cobb. You guys know I love Randall Cobb. He went uh, to UK. That's where I went to school, so I love him. Tannen. Oh, you had the Ripken and the Bagwell headed your way, so you had a nice break in Luminaries then. Well, good. Congratulations on that. Scott is looking for some Jags in here. Let's see if we can't deliver some of these uh, mojo hits for you guys tonight. P. Ryan for the Redskins, Delaney Walker, Titans. We have Phillip Rivers and the Chargers to 99. And then a little Case Keenum in a Broncos uniform to 299. Speaking of Sam Darnold, there he is for the New York Jets. Of course, that is a nice uh, hard signed autograph there. And I believe that William is about to have himself some excellent beginner's luck, isn't he? Because this is the player you wanted too, right, William? There it is with your little RPA, your nice rookie autograph patch, Naheem Hines. Dual color patch and signature there. And our relic is out for Darius Geis and the Redskins. Well, Tannen, for sure, I would love to see you back again. We'll be breaking the back half of that uh, Luminaries tomorrow night, too. So maybe you'll have more luck tomorrow night. William's happy because he got his he got it out of the first pack. That's always the best, right? Then you don't have to worry the rest of the break. AJ McCarron, Bills. Kelvin Benjamin, Bills. We have Ben Roethlisberger, numbered to five for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's really close to the number of uh, interceptions that he threw yesterday, isn't it? That's <laughs> pretty close to it. I'm a Steelers fan. I'm allowed to say that. This is to 299, Melvin Gordon and the Chargers. But yeah, he was awful yesterday. He really was not good yesterday, but I guess he'll shape up. Here's Kiki for the Texans. That is numbered to 99 with your gold ink signature. Oh, this is a good case already. Here comes a Baker Mayfield RPA for the Browns, baby. Numbered to 49. 
And you actually got an orange patch instead of a brown one, so I even doubly like it, if that's a thing. If you can doubly like it, probably really kind of can't. Ronald Jones the second, Tampa Bay Buccaneers to 49. We've got to find some eagles for Gary because this is his first break too. So we got to try to find something to get Gary on track here tonight as well. There's Clowney for the Texans, Marlon Mack for the Colts, and then a Landon Collins for the Giants to 175. Phillip Rivers again to 299 for the Chargers. The Saints have a hit with Traquan Smith. We're following that up with the Broncos and Deshaun Hamilton. Are nice. How you got a nice three color patch there with uh, Deshaun and the Broncos. Relic DJ Moore Panthers. Tannen says you don't find too many female breakers. Yeah, I know. I hear that a lot. I think I, I think I'm in the minority. But you know what, Tannen? My whole family were just a sports kind of family. You know, that's just how I grew up and. I just stayed that way. So we're we're very sports oriented uh and in my family. So <laughs> it's not unusual to find us yelling and screaming and pounding the floor to this day. Vikings, Thielen, Matt Stafford and the Lions, numbered to ninety-nine. Uh, Mr. No Show, Le'Veon Bell, my Pittsburgh Steelers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Mike Evans to two ninety-nine. Kyle Lawletta. For the Giants. Might be seeing Kyle Lalletta on the field before the year is over. I've been saying that all along. I'm sticking by it for the moment. I didn't see anything out of Eli that tells me he's definitely going to have the job all year. We'll see. Michael Gallup and the Cowboys. That's actually kind of an interesting patch. I'm not even sure what that's what part of the jersey that's from, but interesting for the Cowboys. Anthony Miller. Nice debut with the Chicago Bears, numbered to 75. Oh, you're heading out tonight, Tannen. All right, well, thanks for jumping into the break. Hopefully, I will see you again along the way. And you're always welcome to stop by and just chat and hang out. Always glad to have the company. Adam Thielen again, Vikings. Alex Smith for the Redskins. Melvin Gordon to 175 for the Chargers. To 299, it's Doug Baldwin and the Seahawks. Anthony Miller gets an autograph now for the Bears. We had the relic a moment ago. How about an autograph to go along with it? Hey, William, we've got a second Heinz RPA for you. You are really on a roll now. You have one for yourself and a spare that you can trade or sell or give away or something. But you're definitely on a little bit of a roll tonight, my friend. Mark Walton, Cincinnati Bengals to 49. Yeah, Cincinnati. What are we going to do with Cincinnati? I don't know what they're doing up there. I mean, they looked kind of okay, but they should be looking better than kind of okay, I think. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Gerald McCoy. Zeke for the Cowboys. Yeah, they need a little work, too, based on yesterday. Dalvin Cook to 99. Vikings to 299. Joe Flacco and the Ravens. He looked surprisingly good, didn't he? Yeah, like, who's ever seen Joe Flacco look that good? I guess the year they won the Super Bowl. I shouldn't say that. They're just division rivals. You know what I'm saying. That's to 99 for the Texans with Kiki. Browns with a second RPA. This one, though, for Nick Chubb. Kalen Balazs and the Dolphins. You absolutely know we're never going to do a break of a 2018 product without finding Dolphins, and it's usually Kalen. T-Bone. The triple play box was first up tonight. Yes, sir. We are actually on our last break of the night. We have busted into a ton of stuff already. This is C.J. Mosley and the Ravens. Josh Norman for the Redskins. Jordy Nelson to 175 as a Raider. Still just seems wrong that Jordy Nelson is a Raider. To 299, Melvin Gordon and the Chargers. 
Royce Freeman, he's really going to be good for the Broncos. It's to $2.99. Sadly, his autograph is uh, leaves a bit to be desired, but nonetheless, there it is. Good hit for the Broncos. Giants hit with a Kyle Lawletta RPA. I know you want your man, Saquon Barkley. I know you do. That all I've found so far is Kyle Lawletta, but I'm trying to work the mojo for you if you've got the Giants tonight. Well, we might have worked a little mojo for the Cowboys to 25. We have Ezekiel Elliott and Emmett Smith. Some dual relics uh, there, numbered to 25 for the boys. T-Bone, it is, uh, that's, it's kind of a two-part answer, okay? T-Bone is asking, when is this going to show up online? So there's two things I can tell you about it. The first thing is that YouTube will archive this break. And after the break is over, they do processing. Like, I don't know what processing is. I don't know what it entails. All I know is that's what they say they're doing. And usually after they finish that, you can watch the YouTube archived version. And tonight's break isn't terribly long. So I would think within a couple of hours that'll be available. But it's just going to say live stream. But you'll see it because it'll be the most recent one, right? So you can watch it there. Or tomorrow, um, at some point during the day, I will upload the official recorded version and you can watch it that way. The only difference is that, of course, I add the, the proper title and tags and description and all that when I upload it. Obviously, the video content is the same. That is number 10. It is Jordan Howard for the Bears. This is to $2.99, Matt Ryan and the Falcons. We have Dante Pettis. That's nice, to $25 uh, for the 49ers. Don't pull a ton of Dante Pettis, and it's nice to have him to $25. So, got the Niners, good hit. Redemption, we're going to set it aside. We'll look at it at the very last. Josh Rosen with a nice three-color patch for the Arizona Cardinals. But T-Bone, we can tell you what's in it uh, unless you just want to be surprised. So it's up to you. If you want to know what's in it, I can tell you. Or if you'd rather wait and be surprised and watch it, that's cool too. We'll try not to spoil it for you in case you want to wait. The Ravens, Terrell Suggs, Carson Wentz. Oh, there's an eagle, but it's obviously, I know not what you're looking for, but there is at least a Carson Wentz for your eagles. AJ Green to 199 for the Bengals. Then we have to 299 Matt Stafford and the Lions. Whew, he had a stinker of a game tonight. Unless he turned it around after I started working here. Anthony Miller and the Bears. Edo Smith for the Falcons. I'd like to see a Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. That's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> poor Gary, he's like, Eagles, Eagles, are you out there? <laughs> Scott, um, we haven't had any Jags hits. I don't remember if we've had any base or numbered, but we haven't had any Jags autographs or relics, I don't think. Royce Freeman coming out again for the Broncos to 99. No show, Le'Veon Bell. Drew Brees for the Saints, numbered to 99. It's the Biscuit, Mitch Drew Biscay for the Bears, to 299. Jason Witten and the Cowboys. Jason Witten was good in the booth tonight, right? Like, I kind of like him doing that. Carry on Johnson and the Lions to 99. Then Jamon Moore for the Green Bay Packers, the worst signature of the rookie class. Closely followed by Royce Freeman, but definitely the worst is Jamon Moore. We have another dual relic to 25. This one's headed to the Vikings. It's Adrian Peterson and Dalvin Cook. Oh, T-Bone, you were asking about Indians hits. We did not have Indians hits. Um, we had a Mike Trout autographed jersey for the Angels of uh, Walker Bueller autographed baseball for the Dodgers and a Real Muto autographed picture, photograph. Jordan Howard for the Bears, A.J. Green, the Bengals, 
Richard Sherman to 99 for the 49ers. Numbered to 299, it's Mitch Trubisky and the Bears. Here comes Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. <laughs> T-Bone says, do I just call you Breaker Lady? <laughs> No, you can call me, you can call most people in here just type in leader, I think, because I think it shows up on there as leader of the pack breaks. And I think most people just type in leader or they just say, hey, you. <laughs> That's fine, too. I kind of answered about any of it because really, you know, pretty much I figure you're typing it to me most of the time. There is Kiki once again for the Texans. That is a three color patch. Dual, dual Relic again to 25, Clinton Portis and P. Ryan for the Redskins. We are going to have something, I think, pretty good that's going to be in what I'm going to set out to be the last pack. I already kind of did that when I was taking it out of the boxes. I already sorted it around to the back. That was Clowney and Robbie Anderson. This is to 175, Jared Goff and the Rams. Kareem Hunt to 299 for the Chiefs. And the boys have a hit with Mike White, number 225. So I do think we're going to have something kind of uh, good that I've kind of held out there to the end of Origins that will wrap us up tonight. Jalen Samuels coming out for my Pittsburgh Steelers little RPA and here is a Darnold patch relic for the Jets that's number to 49 two color relic don't forget we've got a redemption too that we'll flip over we'll check that out at the end of the break along with any others that we might find between now and then Jarek McKinnon 49ers Marvin Jones Lions to 175, it's OBJ. Antonio Brown to 299 for the Steelers. Can you believe your luck, William? A third Naheem Hines. You said you were looking for Hines. Well, we have delivered him for you three times. But you have one of each at least, right? You have one in this format, and then you've got two of the RPAs. So you're in pretty good shape there tonight with uh, your Colts. Michael Gallup. For the Cowboys, another uh, relic that looks a lot like our other Cowboys relic. Christian Kirk, Arizona Cardinals, that one to 75. <laughs> Scott, who are you booing, man? <laughs> You're booing somebody, but I don't know who. He just typed in boo. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers, Julian Edelman and the Patriots. It is Andy Dalton to 175 for the Bengals. To 299, Chris Hogan and the Patriots. Here is Balage again coming out for the Dolphins. Oh, you're booing the no Jags. I gotcha. I gotcha. Bradley Chubb and the Broncos. That's a nice hit for the Broncos. Kid's going to be really good. Is that numbered? No, I guess it's not numbered. Mason Rudolph, Pittsburgh Steelers, but this one, a relic. No signature on this one. It is numbered to 99. I think that said 99. I guess I better, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I guess I better double check that. As I say it, it would be bad if I was wrong, right? Scott Glenn says that uh, he thinks that the redemption is going to be DJ Chark for the Jags. So he's telling you to hold on and have some hope, I think, basically. Phillip Rivers and the Chargers. Deshaun Watson for the Texans. To 99, it is Delaney Walker and the Titans. Andrew Luck to 299 for the Colts. Here is what seems like the 800th uh, Kiki coming out for the Texans. Really a... Uh, gigantic amount of him in here tonight. Bradley Chubb comes out again for the Broncos who are having a, a nice break. And the Broncos just keep right on rolling through like a freight train. There is Cortland Sutton to 25 with a nice big relic. Now our last pack. I'm pretty sure that we have something good in our last pack. 
and we do i don't know what it is yet but i know that it's i know that it's good you just have to trust me <laughs> Um, that's actually, let's get our base cards off, but you have a jag coming there. You see it coming, right? So it, it's headed your way, Scott. Case Keenum and the Broncos. This is for the Cardinals, David Johnson. And then we have Pat uh, Mahomes to 175 for the Chiefs, followed by Dalvin Cook to 299 for the Vikings. You had to wait a while for it. Uh, but it is DJ Chark for the Jags, number to 10. And Glenn, um, I'm about to deliver something to you as well, and you're going to like it. So you gave Scott some good mojo, Glenn, and you're going to be given some good mojo in return. Because it is numbered to 10. It is a booklet with Lamar Jackson and Hayden Hurst. We pulled a Lamar Jackson Hayden Hurst booklet numbered to two out of one of our other Origins cases. And boy, didn't we get lucky again tonight and pull another one. This one numbered to 10. Slightly different, of course, than the one we had to two. But yeah, you got the Ravens tonight, Glenn. You are a happy man right now, aren't you? And then Kiki again, because why would you stop after having 100 if you could have 101? I mean, there's probably, what, eight, nine of him in here? Terrible job sorting by Panini. Terrible job sorting. Randomizing, whatever you want to call it. Coalating, I think is technically what we should call it. But I hate it when they do that sort of thing. And then, of course, we have a redemption. And our redemption is Rashad Penny. That's going to head to the Seahawks, but you know the drill. We will go to the Panini website. We're going to look it up here in a hot second. We will also find out what that is numbered to at the same time. Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs. Rashad Penny. Let's roll. Let's roll over here and see what we can find about it. As soon as we get that done, I will then recap everything for anybody who might have missed some earlier. If you want to take another look at it, whatever the case may be. We'll give you another shot at that here in just a moment. What did I say this card set was again? Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs. Okay. We got to go way down here. Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs. There we go. And he is card number 127, Rashad Penny. So it's an open edition then, meaning it is not uh, numbered. Because if it were numbered, it would tell us, you know, right over there. So, but the, the main thing is we can see, of course, on the screen there, he is a Seahawk. We knew he was a Seahawk, but now it's all official and, and like that, right? Okay, so Rashad Penny and the Seahawks is our redemption. Now let's recap our 5,000 kikis for the Texans. <laughs> So there is Texans, imagine that. Uh, the Jags, DJ Chark to 10. A Bronco to 25. More Broncos. There's Kiki number two. I'm going to count him as we go through. Mason Rudolph for the Steelers. Another Bronco. A Dolphin. An Arizona Cardinal for a change of pace. Cowboys with Michael Gallup. Naheem Hines. There's several of him as tonight as well. Sam Darnold for the Jets. So we're at two Kikis right now, right? Yeah, two. That's to 25 for the Redskins. Here is Kiki number three. This is to 25 for the Vikings. Falcons with Ito Smith. Josh Rosen for the Cardinals. Kyle Lawletta for the Giants. Nick Chubb for the Browns. The Bengals have a hit with Mark Walton. Anthony Miller comes out for the Bears. And Anthony Miller comes out again for the Bears. Michael Gallup again for the Cowboys. Kyle Laletta for the Giants. For the Panthers, it is DJ Moore. Traquan Smith for the Saints. The Buccaneers have Ronald Jones. And then we have a little Darius Geis for the Redskins. That whole stack had no kiki, is that right? Or do we just have one in there, maybe? I'm sure we didn't get through it with none. That would just be crazy. Here's our handsome booklet, numbered to 10. That's an excellent hit for the Ravens. Lamar Jackson autos are hard to come by, guys. 
Uh, there's not a lot of him in anything. So Lamar and Hayden Hurst, an excellent hit for the Ravens. Jalen Samuels for the Steelers. Mike White for the Cowboys. Calvin Ridley, Falcons. Jamon Moore, Packers. Carrion Johnson, Lions. Uh, Royce Freeman, Broncos. Anthony Miller, Bears. Dante Pettis, nice low number to 25 for the 49ers. The Cowboys, Emmett Smith and Ezekiel Elliott to 25. Royce Freeman for the Broncos. There is another Dolphin. Here is Kiki number four. There's Naheem Hines again. Another Bronco, Deshaun Hamilton. There's our nice Baker Mayfield to 49. There is Kiki number five. There's Naheem Hines number three. And Sam Darnold for the Jets. So that has everything wrapped up tonight in terms of what we have to break. I will put up our spreadsheet information again one more time in case anyone missed it earlier or if you're watching uh, the replay and you just scroll to the end and want to know the info. So once again, there is your shipping information, free shipping stuff uh, projected to go out a week from tonight or most likely before that, but I generally project it out six or seven days and, of course, our paid shipping breaks tonight uh, projected Thursday or before if I can get it done faster. Consolation card info you see there at the top. You can also find that information in the listing description as well. This is the stuff that's already up on eBay. This is what we're going to be working on for the next five nights. It's up and available for bidding right now. We're going to open a Gold Rush baseball jersey, a half case of Leaf autographed football jerseys. That's four jerseys in that one break. The back half of Luminaries Baseball that we started tonight will finish tomorrow night. We'll break a third case of Absolute Football, which might be my last case, but I'm not 100% sure. I've got to check on that. But I didn't order a lot of Absolute. Mainly because Spectre was coming right behind it, and I like Spectre. So <laughs> on Wednesday night, we will open a full-size autographed football helmet. A full case of Spectra football, which comes out on Wednesday, of course, and a full case of Bowman High Tech Baseball, which also comes out on Wednesday. On Thursday, another Gold Rush autographed baseball jersey, a second case of Spectra football, and a sixth and final case of Chronicles baseball. On Friday night, we'll open another half case of Leaf jerseys. Those will be the first half of a new case. We'll open a 12-box case of leaf trinity football which comes out on friday and it usually has really nice patches and relics in it we'll open a half case of tops heritage high number baseball as well also a friday release on saturday a second case of trinity a three-peat basketball box so it'll have an autographed uh, basketball an autographed jersey and an autographed photo and apparently a typo that i have up there i just now noticed too and a 12 box case of contenders draft picks basketball which is the last of that that i have as well so that's what we're looking like uh, for the five days ahead last but not least let's fix this right now because i know that Corey told me he wanted two more spots in there earlier which i had not remembered to do so actually i hadn't it's not, not that i forgot i hadn't seen the email but anyway so that, guys, is a break that we're working on, um, not listed on eBay. It's being sold directly by way of chat and messages. It is a random team break for a box of 2017 Leaf Greatest Hits Baseball. Those are buyback cards. So it's got four buyback cards in it that can be tops, panini, whatever they might be. They can either be graded or encased. I think there might be a leaf, uh, you know, base card or a leaf numbered card or something in there too, but we don't really care about that. The part we care about, of course, are the four buyback cards. And then as a break bonus, there's an autographed Ahmed Rosario bat that'll be awarded to one team by way of random. And it's $50 a spot, but each spot is going to get you two teams. So that's why we're only selling 15 spots. We are getting there. 10 of the 15 are sold. It's all in pricing. Shipping costs are included. It'll break when it fills. This is a break that if you pull nothing, you get nothing kind of break. So no consolation cards in that one. And of course, like any break item, it is a no return, no refund item. If you're interested in jumping into that break, you can send me a message on eBay and let me know. I think I changed our focus already. So let me fix this real quick and I'll show you the box 
if anybody is, uh, in case anybody's interested in it, but I had taken the autofocus off. We don't want all that stupid zooming in and out. But this is what it is. Um, we, as I said earlier, we had opened um, a case of the Leaf Greatest Hits football actually just a few days ago. So if you look back in the videos on the channel, you would find that break and it'll give you kind of an idea of the stuff that comes out of there. I mean, we pulled some nice National Treasure stuff. We did pull uh, some graded cards. Of course, it was a case, but a case is two boxes, right? And this is only one box because, well, because when I ordered it, they messed up my order. I asked for a case. They entered it as a box, and that's what they sent me, and then they didn't have any more. So anyway, that's also why it's been sitting there for six months. But that's the deal. So if you look at Leaf Greatest Hits Football, you'll get an idea of some of the possibilities but you know it's it's uh, it's a fun little break so if you're interested in it drop me a message and let me know otherwise i guess that is it for me tonight thank you everyone for joining me spending part of uh, your evening with me i will be back at it tomorrow night so hopefully i will see you then or if not then sometime soon meantime enjoy your week ahead and we'll catch you the next time bye now